Das ist der Loki, rechts zu legen. Und wir sind Second Function. Wir schauen. Musik von TV. Und Musikpop TV ist wieder unterwegs, nur für euch. Heute Abend wieder aus dem Z7 in Bratle. Für alle Symphonic Metal, Opera Metal Fans ein Festtag heute. Und zwar, wir haben ein super Gespräch mit der Tarja Turunen. Also dranbleiben. I'm here with Tarja Turun, one of the most the distinctive voices in metal. I'm very glad we have the time to take the time to be in our show. And I will straight ask you about your latest record that you're on tour now, the Shadow Self. What is the Shadow Self? Oh, we all have our shadows. I've discovered mine seriously in the last couple of years. I found that there is a certain darkness in me, even though I I really consider being a positive person. I like being with people. I like uh, talking with people. In general, I want to keep a positive uh, atmosphere around me. Uh, I always seek for that. But for music, I need darkness. And to create music, I need that darkness. And that's my shadow self. Very personal album for me, indeed. What I liked person about the album is there's a lot of, even if it's dark and it's some songs are very heavy, but there is a lot of variation. And what I liked a lot is the variation in your voice as well. Was it a specific approach? You know, it's, it's been amazing to, to really... First of all, I work very hard when it comes to my vocals. I still train as a lyrical singer a lot. I still go to take lessons with my vocal coach whenever it's possible for me. It's a never-ending story. If you're a lyrical singer, you never learn enough from your instrument. And seriously, you need to keep it up. You need to keep it up. And and for me, on this record, I I could already express myself more free. And this is something that is really, I've come to this point where I can be really so free um, and enjoy everything, tell stories with my voice only. And it is what I really love the most, even in the live shows that I can really go between the songs from different atmospheres to other atmospheres. And it's really, it's a wonderful freedom. Great. What um, I found as well interesting on the record is your duet with Alisa from Arch Enemy. And I mean, you with your, I say, classical voice, what is your thoughts on growls, death metal yes. growls? Well, I can't do that. That's why she's there. <laughs> That's why she's on my record. No, seriously, I thought of her after recording my own vocals for this Demons in You song. I thought. I felt like I was not enough for the song that I wrote. I was, I can't scream, I can't growl, I, I can't even do anything near of it. But as in that song and as, as a general theme on the shadow self, I'm dealing in lyrics with the opposites in life. I've been writing about heaven and hell and love and hate and positive and negative. She is like the opposite of me. You are now approximately 20 years in the business, if I can Tell say. Tell me, I'm only 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a business. <laughs> you are a person who founded a genre known as symphonic metal, opera metal, call it what you want. But as well, you put women, the, the, the picture of women as a front man, so in front of the stage, back again. Are you proud of that, or are you aware of that? Sure, I, I get that a lot. I mean, uh, there are girls, women approaching me, telling how I've influenced them. I get that a lot, and, and it's every time when I talk to a person like that, that have seen me like a role model in her life, it's really, it's, it's overwhelmingly beautiful uh, feeling that that I get from that. I mean, it's something I can be proud of my work and um, obviously 
super happy that there are people approaching me and reaching for, like reaching out for some someone. I mean, it is a work that I have done basically alone, very much alone. The, all this combining lyrical voice with metal, it was my thing to do at the time. I couldn't go to a teacher and say, hey, help me out here, teach me how to do this. I had to find my own way. And I'm super happy I did that. You have always been part of, I said, both musical worlds, the classical environment and the rock metal genre, say like that. What do you think have both scenes, call them, in common? They love, uh, both of them, they love drama. Mm, they love, uh, they love stories that are emotional. I've uh, met in the middle many times, you know, in all this dramatic world of opera or classical music. It's, it's when, when there is a sound in a, when a symphonic orchestra sounds, it's pure emotion. You can, if I'm working with the orchestra arrangements, I'm all, it's just pure emotion. It's just <coughs> coming into you. And when I'm working with the heavy, heavy guitar arrangements and heavy riffing, it's just the drive and the, it's the emotion. It's still connecting. Everything is emotion in music. About talking about emotional, you have one song on your record. It's called Diva. What is your definition of a diva? Well, diva might be a very difficult person to be with, or diva is in classical music. It's again, it's a person that everybody. Oh, oh the diva! It would be something like, uh, wow, there are divas in the world like Montserrat Cavalier, singers like, wow, beautiful. And this again, dealing with the opposites, like I said to you, love and hate, and all these opposites. A diva, as the word itself, can mean so many things. Yeah. When are you a diva? Oh, yeah, God. <laughs> Whoa. Well, in that sense, you really, um, in a classical music, I don't think I would ever, ever reach that kind of way of. Uh, is the highest, uh, highest, how you say, honor you could ever think of having. Well, I'm sure there's enough time left. So oh God, try. let's see about that. <laughs> Are there any additional musical areas you would like to discover? Oh yeah, Oof, so many, so many. First of all, I would love to have an opportunity to write a score for a movie. That would be something still I'm dreaming about. I have started, I've been asked a few times, but both of those projects never saw a day of light, but I've started to do that, so I really would like that. Other than that, obviously, is that I would like to record a classical album, my second classical album, uh, German leads, actually. Leader, German leader. Schubert, Schumann, all that. I love that. Uh, that would take me a lot of time. Uh, I would really need to prepare myself for that, but I really hope in the near future. Other than that, I have plenty of projects going, going on and uh, a lot of uh, beautiful collaborations coming up. And I can't tell you too much about it, but um, there are a lot of things in these next two years. So for all your fans, there's a lot coming up, and that's good, and that's great news. And uh, I'm sure on this tour and tonight even, you will have a lot of love from the fans on stage. And I would like to thank you for this interview. And uh, if you can say something to our viewers and your fans in Switzerland, into the camera. Of course. Hey, you all in Switzerland. Oh, I love Switzerland. One of my dream countries to live in one day seriously <laughs> no i i love the passion you have towards music thank you for the support thank you for everything and let's rock tonight and let's rock until my last breath
that's a mistake.